Hey guys, Superfreak784 here, and today we're going to be playing some more Kerbal Space Program. And so, in the last episode, we forgot to get Science Junior or um, Goo Canisters from Ron Kerbin. But now there is a contract for our science data from Space Around Kerbin. So we just have to get scientific data from Space Around Kerbin, so we will accept that contract. And then we need, another one we have is the test... ET-38K radial decoupler landed at Kerbin. This one we can get on the launch pad, so we can just strap it onto the rocket before we blast off. That one, I think that is all we can take. There is this one that I have thought about. You know what? No. That one would be nice, but we're not going to attempt that one. We're just going to go with the two that we have. And now, in the last episode, I did a rocket building time lapse. So I think I'm going to be doing the same thing for this video. So we'll start now. Okay, so hey guys, we're out here on the launch pad after building the rocket, and we have the radial decouplers that we need for the contract here, to using them as launch support since I don't have, haven't unlocked those yet. And it looks like we have the throttle set about where it needs to be. I think so it needs to be up a little right at launch, and then I can throttle down once I've taken off. So, three, two, one, stop. Now I have to throttle down a lot so I don't pick up too much speed before 10,000 meters. Okay, so we're coming up on solid rocket booster separation and I will stage them just to show you guys what's kind of been happening to me. Do that and boom. Oh, hey, it worked that time. Yes, it worked. That is the first time it worked. And just to prove that it has happened, I do have the rest of the times on tape. So I think I will throw them in right here as I get into orbit. Going to EVA. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That, I wouldn't. No. Oh! Oh no! Okay, so we just had second stage separation, I guess that would be. You know, my second stage, my upper stage is burning. And it looks like this has been the most efficient launch I've had yet. Kind of interesting. But, we'll take, we'll take a look at the map view. And so the contract states that you just need to transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin. So I'm assuming that you could do that with a suborbital hop. But since I have the fuel, I'm going to attempt to get into orbit. Okay guys, so I've gotten into orbit. And it's a... Uh, elliptical 100, 100 kilometers by 73 kilometers, but it is in orbit, so that should achieve. So if the science did need to be taken from orbit, it will accomplish that as well, and we will keep data, observe materials bay, keep data, observe mystery goo, keep data, and um, let's see. So we will 
map view and start our deorbit burn so we can actually i think we're going to start planning it now and we'll try and plan it so we can come down right near the space center to get the best recovery price prices i think i found they have to burn right about here okay so um let's see in other news while we're doing this um the rest of us from Cool Kids 59, I think we're going to be, have, be able to meet up once more before we all kind of leave for college and stuff. Yeah, so we'll be able to meet up once more before we meet for college. And we're all, I think we're going to try and instead of recording a video and all that, because we don't kind of, kind of just leave all our series kind of finished up like they were. And, I lost the footage for our last big series we did, all that. I think we're just going to try and do a live action Cards Against Humanity game. And I think I'll put that up on this channel so you guys can all see it. We start this burn at 15 seconds right now. Good enough. And right there. Coming down nicely. Actually, I think I'm gonna go out just a little bit more. It's right there. Um, dang it! Time to start to do it in the daytime. Well, I think right there we'll do it. Worst case, I have a little bit of fuel left, and I can always turn it off right before we hit the hit the space center. So I think I'll go back into normal mode and start. Uh, procedures and just time warp down until we hit here and I think this time yeah I'm not going to risk time warping because that's never good try crew report oh I still haven't gotten a crew report from the upper atmosphere so we'll take that I think I'm going to cut back to right before I turn the parachutes on Dang, I don't know what it is about this rocket but it really likes to come in like a missile which, if I had deadly reentry, which I'm thinking, of, I'm still thinking about adding, that would have just killed me. So I think if I ever add deadly reentry, I'm gonna have to start separating these stages before I reenter. Oh, and it looks like it is time for all the parachutes. I still come in like a friggin' missile. What I think I'm gonna have to do is set this one up. Oh well. Okay, so I did do a burn higher up to try and slow my down because it looked like I was going to overshoot. And I undershot by even more. But, it's going to land within like less than three kilometers where I landed last time. That won't be too bad. Heck, I could probably even walk over there and put a plant a flag right next to it. I feel like by the end of this series, I'm just going to have a field of flags just right out here. Oh, dang it. Didn't work out like I planned. Let's see if I can get this pointed correctly again. Oh no, what happened? Oh. You have to do it for all the parachutes. I see. Oh, looks like I've slowed myself down enough, but it takes like at least bare minimum four parachutes, it looks like. And that fifth one will be there just kind of as a safety net, which will make sure I definitely slow down enough. Wow, looks like I may even be within two kilometers of that thing. Let's just hold this upright until that parachute goes off and hope that it can hold me. Well, interesting enough, while I was re entering, because I didn't want to time accelerate it, because I didn't want to miss it again. I actually had one of my friends from Cool Kids show up, and we kind of talked for a little while. And so yeah, so he's going like across the country for college. So, um, and then I'm going out of town next week. So we just try and figure out when we're going to go. So it looks like within a week of within I'm recording this, we'll be able. To, we're going to try and do the. Um, Cards Against Humanity game or some other game or something like that. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang it. I should have laid this down on its side so I could have gotten... Actually, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't, I don't care about a flag. You know what? Recover vessel. 
Okay, so we have our mission summary. We have 43.5 science recovered, 8,000 funds, and 24.2 reputation. Done. We'll check the contract. Looks like that counted, so we completed the big contract for this, this episode, which was the science data from Mount Kerbin. And then we have all our debris recovery. Looks good, and our decoupler, which looks like it worked. And so we'll go and see how what we can get with our science. So 45 science, we can get fairings, which to me, I think, that, would, that seems like it'd be a really... It'd be nice to have if I had fair and arrow space, but I think this time I'm not going to play with them as much, just because there's so much extra money that you have to spend permission that you can't recover. So I think once I start getting into bigger contracts, I'll use them, but for now, and I'm just doing these short little manned hops, I won't. When I start building stuff that's extremely unaerodynamic, I'll start using them. But not right now. So I think we're going to try and get larger rocket parts. That seems to be what I need the most. I don't have to keep doing those little stacks of rock of engine. So we will research. I think we're going to call it an episode there for today. So I think I'll include some of my failures as I'm burning into orbit up there. But for now, I'll see you in the next episode.